Hi everyone, this will be a quick tutorial on how to install the latest GPU drivers on your legacy GPU such as R9390, which I have. Uh, as you can see, this person, my Lipo 15, made some uh, nice uh, modded drivers, which actually work on TerraScale architecture and on uh, Polaris Vega Navi architecture as well. So to find out which architecture your GPU is, you will need to click on all three of these on check for architecture click on all three of them then in the open the tabs check whether you have your gpu in one of them so as you can see r9300 series uh, is in the gcn architecture and r9300 series means uh, r9390 so if you have r9290 then that's r9200 series and so on so what we're gonna need to do next you will need to scroll down uh, also make sure that you have windows 10 or uh, windows 11 uh, it, these drivers will not work on uh, windows 7 and uh, i'm not sure about windows 8.1 but yeah also read that as well because uh, it's also important all right so we scroll it down to the download link section Yeah. Uh, then uh, if you have GCN architecture then click on legacy GCN architecture if you have TerraScale then click on TerraScale and if you have Polaris Vega Navi then click on Polaris Vega Navi uh, also for TerraScale uh, as you can see the download links are a bit confusing so if you have TerraScale then you will need to download this one not this one, not this one at least uh, from what I know Okay, so I have R9090, so I need GCN. So make sure to download the same version of uh, dependencies and the driver. So as you can see, the version is 22.4.1 v5 for the driver and 22.4.1 uh, for the dependencies, uh, which is software. And that means that the version is the same. Sometimes it's not the same, so you will have to, let's say, if this will say 22.3.2, then you will won't have to download uh, the 3.2 with the dependencies. But it have 4.1, so download 4.1 driver and uh, this software. So click on the driver. Click I accept, click download latest version, wait for it and it will download the driver. As you can see it was scanned for, uh, for the malware, so it does not have any viruses. I closed the link because I already downloaded it. So then click on the Radeon dependencies. Uh, it might open in a bit different menu for you, but uh, right click the. Uh, yeah, so. It might open like that for you or like that. So if it opens uh, for you this way, then click on this uh, download uh, icon. And uh, that means download anyway. So it will start the download. Uh, if it opens for you like this, then right click it uh, and click download and then click download anyway. Okay. So now you will have to uh, run. Okay, so now you will have these two files, uh, the driver and the software. So you will have, you will need to download 7-zip uh, from the Google, uh, from web. It's a free tool to extract the archive. Uh, also WinRAR and uh, WinZip can also extract 7-zip, I believe. So right click it, 7-zip or WinRAR, whatever, extract. 
wait for it. Then right click the CCC to underscore GC and underscore install dot exe and cut it on the folder on dependencies underscore GCN folder. I click and paste it here. Oh, my bad guys. Uh, it seems that we will have to download one more file to delete the driver which we have installed right now. So install the this new one. So open up your browser again and go to Google. Write uh, did you download? Extract it. Right click it. Run it as administrator. Extract it again. Right click it. Run it as administrator. <coughs> Press OK. Press OK again. Press close. Press OK again. Select GPU here. Make sure that uh, you have selected AMD here because it might be NVIDIA and Intel sometimes. If you have uh, also Intel, GPU and uh, NVIDIA. So now you will need to press on clean and restart. This will uninstall your uh, current uh, driver and then we will proceed with the installation process. All right, the driver has been successfully installed. As you can see, I don't have the Radeon software anymore. And uh, so now go to the new driver folder, which have just downloaded. Right click nzsetup.exe and run it as administrator. Then click start driver installation. And if you want uh, manual custom installation, for a more advanced user, then click manual. If you want uh, automatic, then click automatic. In this tutorial, I will use automatic because for me, it generally works fine. If you have just one GPU, then uh, you need to click regular driver installation. If you have uh, experienced some uh, inverted color uh, or uh, artifacts, stuff like that, then Click the color render hotfix for AMD GCN GPUs. If you do benchmark software like 3D Mark or Geekbench, etc., then uh, and if you want online validation, and it's just for that, then you need to click the third one here. <coughs> However, if you have a switchable GCN AP APU with Polaris GPUs, then you will need to click one of these. Fortunately, I don't know which one is for what, so you might have to try both of these one at a time, of course. I'll click regular driver installation because I have R9390 and that's it. You need to press go to it here. On this part you will need to press install this driver software anyway a couple of times, maybe a five times, maybe ten times. So just keep spamming it. I will pause the video now just because uh, I don't want it to randomly crash on me at some point.
I go back to you. All right, this is the next part. As you can see, right now it's installing the driver, and uh, don't worry that the name of the GPU is might be a little different. For example, I have R9390, but it says R9390X. That's fine. That's a feature from the developer of these modded drivers. It's for a better compatibility with games. Uh, this process will take uh, two, four, maybe ten minutes. Uh, I'll back to you once it's done. And it's done. Now you will see this. So right now, just press OK. It's extracting the software right now, which you have downloaded earlier. Here you need to press uh, codec only, however if you experience some artifacts or a green playback then you will need to select codec player. I don't experience anything like that so I will select, select codec only. Uh, I don't know what's that but I always get that, however uh, it's not an issue because I don't see any errors here. Here you will need to make sure that this uh, checkbox is checked and uh, press uh, and uh, here you will need to check that VHQL logo it will say yes, press got it. it the tool will open now and you will need to check it in this tool. Okay, so make sure that this checkbox is checked. Click on your display. Make sure that VHQL logo it says yes and that it says no problems found here. Click exit. So here it's saying that uh, if you will experience any anti cheat uh, in any anti cheat by basic games, some errors like untrusted system file and stuff like that, uh, then you can fix it later. So don't worry about that. It's okay. Okay, the installation now is completed and uh, now you have the AMD driver installed. Congratulations. So let's uh, let's launch the extras menu. So let's say you will want to launch this menu at some point later. For that you will need to open the installation driver folder. Uh, folder uh, the installation of the driver right click on this setup cli.exe and run it as administrator okay so let's say you will uh, launch apex legends fortnite valorant league of legends elder elden ring and many other online games which will trigger an error something like directx error or maybe uh, untrusted system file protection error but uh, not DirectX 12 error when your GPU only have a part of DirectX 12, then that's not it. Okay, so it will say untrusted system file problem uh, in anti-cheat basic games, and you will need to write 8 and press enter here, and that will fix that error. You'll be able to play that game again. So let's enter the other options now. So let's say your Radeon software was not installed correctly on or broke. You will need to write one here and press enter and that probably will fix it. Never try it, but yeah. <coughs> Never try it in new version at least. Let's say you're on laptop and you have dual uh, AMD graphics on it. APU plus, plus GPU. You will need to write two here and press enter and that will Add the switchable graphics options in power options in edit power plan, I guess. Let's enter the hyper memory. Okay, so this uh, option is basically virtual memory. It's very helpful for AMD APUs, uh, but only if you have lots of RAM, <coughs> like 8 gigabytes. So it's not very help helpful on the GPUs with lots of VRAM, but it might help 
on GPUs with a low amount of VRAM. So I will keep it disabled because my GPU have a lot of VRAM. I mean, on default, not, not disabled, and I don't know what's the default on it right now. Okay, so let's enter graphics workload mode. So if you do workloads all day, like DaVinci, Blender, maybe mining, then you will need compute. If you play games all day, then graphics. If you want the uh, best compatibility with uh, both of these, then it's graphics. By default, it's graphics also. Okay, so let's enter MD Crossfire in case if you use like dual R990s, dual uh, R990s, maybe quad, triple. So if you want to have it enabled, then enable it, disable it, and disable. So let's enter PCI resizable bar. So as you can see here, it uh, accurately says what you need to do to fully enable it. Enabling enabling it here will not fully enable it. You will also need to enable the rebar support in your motherboard's BIOS and uh, also enable above 4G, 4G decoding in your BIOS. To enter your BIOS, you will need to restart your computer and spam delete key on your keyboard or F2 key on some motherboard setting, also maybe on some it's F11, different for many. So for some you need to enable with ASIC, for some just enable. Uh, accessible bar support can give you FPS boost in some games, but if it's enabled in a wrong way, then it can give you FPS drop, very big one. So. By default, uh, it's disabled. Uh, at least I think so. Hmm. Well, there's nothing really helpful here. I, I mean, for me at least, maybe you might find something else interesting here. But that's about it. If you will have some questions, uh, then you can write in the comment section or uh, in the comment section of the forum. Lots of very smart people there and uh, the developer also is replying on the comments pretty much daily, working hard. Thanks man for all the work which you do. Highly appreciate it. So yeah. Have a good one and see you later.